In this video, we're going to focus on how you can create a fill shape here with different colors if it's in a positive and if it's in a negative, it becomes a red color. Let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to add fill shapes with different colors in Chart.js 4. So what we're going to do is here, we're going to use this boiler template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com, getting started this link, which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, just copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to support this channel, check out my Patreon page here. We have the source code of many other videos. And of course, we have a Discord channel. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to create now our item, but our item needs a different chart type, which is the line chart. So we have this. And what I want to do now is that if it is a positive value, it will become green. We fill it up green. And if it's a negative value, we'll make it red. However, we'll have two specific data sets. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to copy all of this, put in this data set here, save that refresh. All right. As you can see here, we have two, but you will not see them yet. And now what I will do is I'll just make them all negative, basically in the opposite direction. Save that refresh. There we are. So now we have this here and what I want to do here now is first change the colors. Uh, this one would be the cost. So this is cost and this one will be sales. And then what I want to do here is just get the color and the fourth one is the green color. So I'll just grab that. There we are. And then of course here I want the red color, which is the very top value. So save that refresh. That looks quite nice. Now what I have to do is make sure we have a distinction here and let's put that in here. So I say comma and then we're going to set here up fill equals true. Let's save that. And as you can see here, instantly it converts this. And what's also nice, let's make this, let's give it a tension of 0 0.4. There we are. And if I will put this on a zero value, what will happen then? At that very moment, it goes like this. I guess the tension should probably not be shown here. However, what we could do as well, make it solid. All right. And as you can see here, we get this. Now let's start to solve that for the other one as well. I'm going to copy this, put it in here. Make sure that this is also solid color. Save, refresh, and there we are. And now this will work nicely. And if I put in here as well as zero, do we get any kind of response? And as you can see here, this will work nicely with tiny, tiny issues here sometimes. However, these are unavoidable. This is basically the way to do it. 